time last year, I had lost my job and I was going through a really, really bizarre phase in my life. Uh, my confidence was low, my book was suffering because of it, and I really wanted to start doing things to you know, get rid of a lot of the fear that I had created through my job and through the toxic people I'd been working with. So I started doing things like giving speeches on the subway um, and having all sorts of adventures around New York City. So when I gave a speech on the subway, it was from 59th Street to 125th, which means there's a huge seven minute gap where people can't get off the train. So I was like, okay, they're stuck on here. I'm gonna go in and deliver a speech. And my thought was, if you can give a speech on the New York City subway, you will never find an audience more intimidating. These are people who don't wanna hear you, who are annoyed that you are talking, and in general have a very angry demeanor. So, <laughs> not everyone. Um, I walk into the subway and I start hiving. My, my whole face is bright red, I'm hiving. And I'm, I'm with a friend of mine and I start to chicken out. And I'm like, I, I can't do this, I don't have the courage. And she just gives me the look like, you know, you talked all this talk about no fear. And I'm like, okay, I gotta do it. I can't let her down. And I open my mouth and after the first four words come out, I'm giving a speech on the subway. And we did it about six or seven times. We would just go up to 125th, go back down to 59th, go back up uh, to different audiences. And the coolest thing that happened was I was giving a speech about how you're gonna be okay. And it's about being in your mid twenties and feeling lost and angry and not, and unsure and the theme is you're gonna be okay and this woman starts crying and she comes up to me afterwards and you know I'm hiving and I'm nervous and and it's, it's uncomfortable to give a speech on a New York City subway it's a long period of time that you're talking and she says I think you were sent for me today and you know I it's moments like that that make it all worth it, you know, to, to know that I used my words to make that woman's day better. Um, it was amazing. And another man gave me $5. <laughs> I said, no, it's not about that. It's not about that. He said, no, I want you to have it. What you're saying is important. And so it's, it's a reminder that we're creating these things, not only for ourselves, but, but for everyone else too. You know, when you can take your art to that level where somebody comes up to you and says you were sent for me today you've done something important with your day and it, I live for those moments and I'm not gonna lie and say it's easy <laughs> it's not easy to get on the New York City subway and give a speech but nothing else is going to be as scary ever again I don't think and um, it, it was just an incredible experience when you start doing things that scare you it's amazing how how unafraid you are in the future. <laughs> when I started getting rejection letters from agents, um, I was just like, ah, rejection. You know, it, it's not such a big deal anymore. You've done things that are way more terrifying than get a rejection letter. So yeah, it's, it's a really incredible experience. It was really amazing.